The internet is inherently non-anonymous. Same with the phone system. People think of it as vast and anonymous and untraceable, but in fact, by its nature, it's completely traceable and completely insecure. There was no standard way for sources to contribute securely tips and documents to a reporter. So I, uh, I wanted to develop, uh, develop a solution for this, and I wound up approaching Aaron to see if he would do the coding. Whistleblowers are often putting their lives on the line to get information to the public. And when I first heard about Dead Drop, it seemed like a very fun and exciting project. WikiLeaks was still really big in the news, and, and it seemed like it was kind of democratizing that. The next time that a whistleblower comes around, it'll be a lot easier for them to do what they need to do to get the word out. With Secure Drop, it just makes the whole process so much easier. The next time someone like Snowden comes along, they can submit those documents with the assurance of security and that it'll get to the journalist that they want to talk to. Especially in national security cases, if you're a whistleblower, you can kind of do one or two things. You can try to get a member of Congress interested, um, or you can go to the press. Both of these are fraught with danger. SecureDrop really fills an important step along the way. If you can't protect that first step, you're going to dissuade a lot of people from even going down this path at all. Secure Drop is important because it allows for, well, anonymous publishing. But how do you do it in this time where almost everything's being watched? Where the idea of surveilling on all of the phones of a news organization to go and find what government uh, officials are calling them is now routinely happening. What do we do now? You know, if you have something that you really feel the public needs to know, you do have kind of a, a moral responsibility to, to see that the public can. You know, it's interesting about Ed Snowden. Nobody has ever said at any point, oh, he's lying. Isn't that funny? I mean, nobody has ever said, no, that, that's, all, that's all nonsense. He's making this stuff up because it was so obviously not a lie. We need to start using technology uh, as well as the law uh, to protect these sources. Uh, and that means communicating with sources, with encryption, if you're gonna talk electronically, from the start.